deny the club coming into this season with any sense that the Premier League will be within their reach. They're expecting survival, but a battle for it, perhaps. We'll see what unfolds in the next ten months. Breaking is Travis with real purpose. Britain. Gay. Oh, and it squirms across the goal line! <laughs> We've set over hills in love with that. And having come out the box firing, Blackburn Rovers have the lead they wanted. It's a brilliant burst from midfield from Travis. And they just pick the right pass at every, at every moment here, don't they? Maybe they get a little bit fortunate with the way it arrives at Tyrese Dolan, but it's made by Lewis's Travis. His burst from midfield, it opens things up. Clever run from Gay. And Dolan, we mentioned him before kickoff about delivering more end product. Well, there it is, right on cue. And they've got the lead that they would have been craving in these parts. It's a decent finish. Well, some encouragement right in front of their supporters. Is this the moment? They make the most of one of these situations, of which there have been many. Ashin has made the trip, Nelson always talkative. Hardmine lurks outside the area. Osborne is on hand, but it's going to go straight in there. And is it going to go straight in? Derby certainly thought so, but the technology tells us it didn't. I don't know how. If I'm honest, I don't know how. They are very, very lucky. Blackburn Rovers. I wonder if Nathaniel Mendes Lang is deliberately, because they all run across that near post. It's bending in viciously, and I'll tell you what, Ainsley Pears has done brilliantly. But then it's Barkhausen on the turn. Can't dig the ball out. This is remarkable goalkeeping. More hopeful. Collins just trying to make himself scarce if that's possible. Make a late move. Oh, and Nelson! Well, there's the answer Derby were looking for. And one of the real strengths of last season has finally come to the fore tonight. Newly promoted Derby County on terms. As simple as you like. It's well worked. The delivery is screaming, go and attack me. And Curtis Nelson, last season's player of the year, he's aggressive, he's got desire, and he meets it absolutely flush and gets the power that takes it beyond Ainsley Pears. No chance for the goalkeeper to react. And it had been coming, you have to say. They've been on top, and it's game on.
For the first goal of 2024, he towered over them like the column dedicated to his namesake. There you go, that's what it feels like. Golan halted by a brilliant clean challenge from Cashin, but picked up by Carter. Now Travis hoping to drive them on. Carter, oh, he's left them sprawling! Just when Derby were starting to believe the night might belong to them. Well, momentum changed, and it's all about this. And they win the ball back. It's Hayden Carter steps in and keeps going. And this is brilliant from the centre half. He's got the composure to spot Andy Vyman at the far post after a wonderful piece of trickery. He sits not one, two Derby defenders on their backsides and picks his teammate out. It is brilliant. And if we were watching a creative midfielder do that, we would be waxing lyrical. But that's a central defender who's just really changed this game. Well, what an entrance from Andy Byman. The first attempt on goal in 20 minutes. And then on the back foot. It's cut again nowhere despite the gift and Cashin has finally sorted himself out stuff of nightmares wow. for a centre back yeah, talk about losing your footing at an inappropriate moment Hashi has just done that here's Britain oh, Hashi's loitering again we've seen one debutant score off the bench Britain once they struck back. But Blackburn have hit back hard, and their walked-away star looks as though he has administered the knockout punch. Well, he's about 50% fit, but it doesn't matter when you've got the ability to know where the ball is going to end up and to find space. Credit Ahashi and credit Callum Britton. There's a clever little bit of movement from Sammy Smodix just to find that little bit of space. He's got his arms up, he's calling for the ball for ages, and then he steps back and finds that little yard. It's brilliant all round. It's a fantastic team goal, actually. And you would never have bet against it, would you, when he came on the pitch. Osborne to hurl it in there again. As Adams looking to meet it. It's really done by uh, Vyman. It's a painful one for Travis this time. Smodix with Dolan around. And Ahashi with a chance! And beautifully done! It's turning into some opening night for Blackburn. Two debutants on the score sheet. Sammy Smonick still here and on the score sheet. And really, it's beyond their wildest dreams. Well, Derby were pressing as they had to, so they were gambling, so they were left a little bit. Blackburn Rovers counter-attacking last season, very strong in transition. But look at Ahashi, he holds his ground, makes himself available. Smodix picks him out, and I absolutely love that finish. I... <laughs> I'm critical, aren't I, frequently when strikers hit the goalkeeper in that situation. But lift it over him, stay calm, and reap the rewards. It's brilliant from Ohashi. It's a great pick out from Smodix. What a night for Blackburn Rovers. We thought goals might be a problem for them. We're talking about being more clinical in the final third. Well, this is the standard 
set. And remember, as Ohashi is wreathed in ecstatic smiles, seasoned hands at championship level. But John Eustace has recruited. Pears needing to use his fist to good effect. Uh, desperate for an edge of the box. Anyone's going to see him. Well, the game's gone, but can they nick another goal? Derby. It's been a harsh lesson for them tonight, hasn't it? About the difference between League One and the Championship. Oh, and in. And the arm aloft from Kane Wilson. And, well, it's not greeted with ecstasy behind the goal, but at least it might for the end. That's another corner. Good delivery into a dangerous area. Look where he comes from, straight off the training ground. It really should be harder than that to score from a corner. It's Lewis Travis. He's the closest to him, runs under the ball. Adams putting himself about. Thompson. Adams. Just had players worried for a moment. Well, make no doubt about it, it's a cross, but it's got such whip on it, and it's dipping, it's causing Ainsley Pears a problem. I spoke about John Eustace wanting more additions. I'm sure it's the same for Paul Warren, we all know that. Hopefully he'll get them. Well, a really positive start for John Eustace, whose bench turned the tide, and Sammy Smodix sticking around for the moment at least at Ewood Park, made a crucial contribution with a goal and an assist, despite being well short of full belt. Andy Vyman on his debut against his former club with only his second touch of the ball heading home after brilliant eye-catching work from Hayden Carter. And Yuki Hashi showing that there's plenty to come from him with a brilliant dinked finish. Derby the better side for much of the second half. Tyree Stolen had given Blackburn a lead at half-time. The set-pieces tick the boxes in the end for Derby, though. Curtis Nelson emphatically and Kane Wilson elusively managing to get goals. A lot of uh, more positives for Paul Warren in the second half, but he's seen just how clinical championship opposition can be tonight.